Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about how you can customize the contact form on your Squarespace website using just a little bit of custom CSS. Squarespace made a major update to our contact forms in May of 2023, so some of my old tutorials no longer work. That's why in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the background color, the border, the focus or active state, and how to create a hover effect for your form submit button. Now, all the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below, but as I'm sure you can imagine, there are quite a few parts of this you'll want to change to make it uniquely yours. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and teach you exactly how to use these custom codes on your Squarespace website. Let's get started. So here we are in Squarespace, and before we dig into any codes in this tutorial, I do want to mention that this is for the latest version of Squarespace known as 7.1. There were some major updates made to the contact form in May of 2023, and that's what these codes are for, the latest version of Squarespace. So in this tutorial, we're going to change the input field border and background. We're going to change the focus style. We're going to change this required text to just be an asterisk, like the old form used to be. And we're going to change the submit button colors, creating a neat hover effect. Now, all these codes are listed in the description below. So stick with me in this tutorial and I'll show you exactly what parts of this code you'll want to update to make it uniquely yours. I'm going to copy this code right here and everything we're doing is custom CSS. So I'll navigate to design and select custom CSS. And again, this code is listed in the description below. Now, scroll down here and zoom in because I want you to see what we're doing. I'm going to paste this code right here, and immediately you'll notice that these contact form fields have changed. This right here is the new border. I made it a much lighter gray. You can change this to a different color if you want to, maybe typing in the word red or leaving it at a hex color code, or remove the border completely. Change it to border none if you don't want a border there anymore. Now, after that, I've added a border radius. That's what's curving in the corners here on every single corner of these input fields. And last but not least, I've added a background color. Now I'm using a hex color code for this light blue, but you can totally change that to maybe yellow, any web safe color name that you want. I prefer to use hex color codes, but definitely change that background color. Next, we're gonna change the focus style. This right here is going to give it a light yellow background and remove the automatic outline. Now here's what I'm talking about. When I click into message, notice how it gets that solid outline that's what we're going to remove. And then we're going to change the background color so it's still obvious that we're editing this field. So I'll enter a new line here. We'll paste this code. And now when I click into any field, it's actually going to be yellow. So it is definitely going to grab attention, but it no longer has that outline that doesn't go with the style of my site. So again, I've used a hex color code here, but you can type in a web safe color name. We'll click into a field to see that happen. There we go. Totally up to you. Feel free to add a border code here as well. Maybe you want to say border 1px solid blue. So instead of an outline, we'll just get a border to it that's a solid blue, super customizable. Now let's go ahead and change the required text to an asterisk. I'm going to copy this code right here. We will enter a new line in our CSS and paste it. And now it's been replaced with an asterisk, this symbol right here. Now, if you wanted to say something else like please include, change the text of the asterisk to the text please include. And you can also change the color if you want to. I'm going to add a new line here and I'll say color pink and add a semicolon. And now that text is pink. Again, super duper customizable. Change it however you want so it suits the style of your own website. Now, last but not least, one of my favorite things to code is a custom button color. And we're going to do a hover effect too. So I'm going to click on this option here and scroll down a bit. This is the code we'll be adding. Over here in my custom CSS, I'm going to enter another new line and paste this code. And now the submit button is a different shade of blue until we hover and then it turns yellow. So this right here, A1D9DD, that's the hex color code for that blue. Let's say you want it to be pink instead, super customizable. Type in whatever web safe color name you want there. Just make sure you leave exclamation point important. That's how the browser knows to use our color instead of the color that was already assigned by Squarespace. Now, after that, we have the hover effect here. Notice where it says semicolon hover, and then we've changed the background color. Change this hex color code to anything you want it to be. Uh, let's go ahead and go orange. And now when we hover over it, it's going to be orange or a hex color code, which is my preferred way of using colors in CSS. It'll change it to that yellow that I want to use. 
So we just did a lot of stuff with these codes. I'm gonna scroll up here to show you one last time. For all of these, anywhere you see a background or a border, feel free to adjust that to whatever suits the style of your own website design. This first one is going to change the state of the form as it's seen on the page. The next one is the focus style. So when someone clicks into a field, that's what we change the background of. Feel free to add a border or adjust the outline, super customizable. After that, we change the required text. You can change it to an asterisk. That's what this code will do. But if you want to be something totally different, notice over here, instead of the asterisk, we just typed out the text, please include. You can change that to anything you want it to be. You can also change the color. I went ahead and just added the text pink or red. Again, super customizable. If you don't add a color there, it'll be the same color as the label for that field where it says subject, email, message. You get the idea. All right, last but not least, we changed the submit button colors. We gave it a different background color. This is also super customizable. Feel free to add a border or a box shadow. Just make sure you notice the difference between form wrapper, input type, submit. That's the button right here. Or hover. This is what's going to happen when you hover over that button with your cursor. And in this case, I just changed the background color. Whatever you've customized with your code, make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. All the codes that I just shared with you are listed in the description below. Just make sure that you update all of those colors and borders and anything else about that specific code to make your website uniquely yours. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. Now available in a Notion database, you can have access to all of the custom codes that I use for modifying Squarespace websites. In here, you'll find selectors, pre-made style snippets, and a bunch of pro tips. So even if you're brand new to all things CSS, you're going to love the content you'll find here. To get lifetime access to this Notion database of custom code for Squarespace, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.